Ahí está. Hi. Hello, guys. Um, good evening. Thank you very much for joining. I'm going to share my screen with you. Solo les comparto aquí rapidito la presentación. Remember that we are working on um, section three, right? Section three and the midterm exam. So if you have doubts or if you have questions, don't forget to ask today, okay? Aquí nos quedamos a share. Let me pass the attendance. Give me one moment. Today is the 30th. Ahí está. Okay, Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada Burgos Magaña. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lisset Velázquez de Salgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Damari Saraí García Cerón. Daniel Alejandro Janes Díaz. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Flor Noemi Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Eh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Elena López Rivas. Kevin Present Ale teacher. Ah, ok. Gracias. Carla Elena. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. María Dolores García de López. Present teacher. Gracias. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Violeta Salazar y Daeta. Y Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. Ah. Bye. Okay, so I was saying yesterday that today we were going to review clauses, okay? So uh, we have some examples that we took from, uh, well, one example that we took from the conversation to uh, this other side over here where it says relative clauses of time, okay? Relative clauses of time. But, I mean, ¿qué es una clause? What is a clause, guys? ¿Qué es una clause? ¿Qué es una clause? Cláusula. Uh -huh, una cláusula, ¿ok? And what type of clauses do we have? ¿Qué tipo de cláusulas tenemos, chicos? ¿Qué tipo de cláusulas tenemos? When. No, ¿qué tipo de cláusulas? ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos de cláusulas que tenemos? ¿Alguien sabe cuáles son los dos? ¿No? Relative clauses en about the time and the place. Ok. Uh, yes, I mean, de esas son las que estamos hablando acá. 
pero tenemos este dos, ¿verdad? Tenemos dos tipos de cláusulas. Vaya, permítanme. Cláusulas de tiempo, dicho. No, ahorita se las comparto mejor por WhatsApp. Ahí está. Váyanse al WhatsApp, por favor. So, there you have two different clauses, right? Give me one second. Ah, I need to sneeze, sorry. So, we have two types of relative, I mean, two types of clauses, okay? Primero, vamos a entender que es una cláusula, okay? So, what is a clause, right? I'm going to type it here. Vamos a ponerlo acá. And we're going to define what is a close, right? Now, a close, right? In this case, it's going to be a sentence or a group of words. But that's, it's a group of words that has both a subject and a predicate. But that es is una clausula, okay? And sometimes we're going to have complete clauses and sometimes we're going to have bueno, thoughts, pensamiento, com pensamiento o idea completa o incompleta, ¿ok? Entonces, primero definamos, ¿verdad? What is a close? So, a close, a close is a group of words that has both a subject and a predicate, ¿verdad? Generalmente va a llevar un sujeto y un predicado. Eso es una cláusula, ¿ok? Now, what happens with this? Tenemos dos tipos. ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos que tenemos, chicos, ahora que ya vimos ahí? Dependent and independent. Exactly. We have the dependent, close, and the independent, independent, close. Muy bien. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué sucede con la dependiente? Vaya, la dependiente, como su nombre lo dice, ¿verdad? Expresses incomplete thoughts, right? Esta no son pensamientos o ideas completas. ¿Verdad? Necesitan que la dependiente los, los lleve, ¿verdad? Los lleve ahí de la mano. Entonces, quizás vamos a dejar esta antes acá. Vaya. Vale. Entonces, independent clause is like this. The independent clause es la independiente y esta sí. It ex, it, this one expresses, right, a complete thought. Expresa un pensamiento completo. And a... Eh, it can stand on its own, ¿verdad? And can stand alone. O sea, puede por sí sola eh, escribirse. No necesita que lleve uh, uh, algo más. Ya van a ver los ejemplos. Con la dependent clause es diferente. Expresses incomplete, ¿verdad? Pensamientos o ideas incompletas, ¿verdad? Incomplete thoughts. Ok, incomplete thoughts. And cannot, ¿verdad? Be a sentence by itself. No puede ser una oración por sí misma. ¿Ok? Now, what are some examples? Ejemplos. ¿Ok? We're going to uh, make up some examples so you can have, you know, a better understanding. ¿Ok? Now, I can say something like eh, independent. Jane ate pasta. Okay. Um, Sam went to the park. Sam went to the park. Oops. Okay. Estas dos oraciones, ustedes se fijan, son independientes porque expresan un pensamiento completo y porque pueden ellas por sí misma estar, ¿verdad? Y se va a entender su idea. Jane ate pasta. Sam went to the park. Now. What about these ones? ¿Qué tal estas? Look, because she was hungry when um, he finished school. When, no. Ah, when school uh, finished. Okay, when school finished. So, because she was hungry and when school finished, okay? 
So, esas oraciones, si yo le digo, because she was hungry and when school finished, ¿verdad? ¿Son estos pensamientos completos que pueden estar por sí solos en una oración? No, teacher. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, these are dependent and independent clauses, ¿verdad? Jane ate pasta because she was hungry. And Sam went to the park when school finished. Entonces, generalmente las cláusulas que vamos a encontrar van a contener eh, oraciones dependientes y dependientes, ¿verdad? Las dependientes, las independientes son las que pueden llevar la idea por sí mismas y pueden ser oraciones completas, las independientes no, ¿verdad? No tienen sentido por sí solas, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Preguntas, chicos? ¿Questions? Mm -hmm. Questions? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Very good. Excellent. Permito. Ok, now let's move on here. Vamos a movernos acá a lo que tenemos aquí dentro de, la, de los ejemplos. We have relative clauses of time. So it says Halloween is a day when kids in the United States dress up in masks and costumes. November 2 or November 2nd is the day when Mexicans observe the Day of the Dead. Fall is the season when people in the United States and Canada celebrate Thanksgiving. Ok, now. Here, right, what I'm doing, primero quería explicar que eran clauses porque el tema se llama relative clauses y a veces pues no, no sabemos qué es una cláusula o una clause, ¿verdad? Pero ahora sí ya sabemos, ¿ok? Now, how can we make, you know, some examples using this type of relative clauses, ¿ok? So, generally, we're going to find that like this, ¿ok? Over here. Now. If I tell you guys, okay, what is a birthday? So, a birthday, a birthday is celebrated or it's a day, right? It's a day when um, we celebrate, celebrate another, another year of life of a person, right? Okay, so a birthday is a day, is a day when we celebrate the, I mean, another year, I'm sorry, another year of life of a person, right? A friend, a relative, etc. Okay, so that is a birthday, okay? And I'm using here when, ¿verdad? Convirtiéndola en una relative close of time, okay? Now, can you think of other examples? Podemos pensar o, o crear otro ejemplo. Any ideas? Any ideas on this? For example, teacher. Yes. September 15th is a day when... Uh, the Salvadorians celebrate uh, another year of independence. Very good. Okay, Salvador Salvadorans celebrate uh, independence, right? Independent, independence, independence day. Okay, very good. Or another year of independence. También, okay. September 15th is a day when Salvadorians celebrate Independence Day. Muy bien, excelente. I like this example, okay. Can you think of another example, guys? Otro ejemplo? Mm -hmm. Another ex example? Another example? You can do it. Dígame, Ivan, Ibrahim. 
have an example, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the weekend is a good day to go for a walk. Sí, solo que no tiene when. Oh, okay, okay. Vamos a estructurar. Mm -hmm. Dígame, Gisela. Um, Christmas is a day when the families celebrate together. Ah, okay. Christmas is a day when family celebrates together. I like it. Okay, muy bien. Christmas is a day when family celebrates together. Muy bien. Ivan? Ah, todavía no vaya. Hector, please. Hector. Yeah, I feel so tired when I go to the gym. Okay, I feel tired when I go, I go to the gym. Está bien. No se acopla a la referencia que llevamos, pero está correcta. I feel tired when I go to the gym. Iván. Sería, the weekend is when we go out for a walk. Mm -hmm. The weekend is the time, podemos decir the time I, when yeah, the time. we go out. Okay, muy bien. The weekend is the time when we go out or when we or when we hang out, ¿verdad? Cuando salimos a pasear también. Hang out or when we go out or when, uh, when we go out for a walk. Cualquiera estaría, estaría correcto, Okay. Uh, another example, guys. Teacher, it mm -hmm. can be May 10 is the day when we celebrate the Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It's the day when we celebrate Mother's Day. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about. Eh, Iván o Carla, no sé quién levantó la mano. O Carla es la que me acaba de decir, ¿verdad? Su ejemplo. Ah, vaya. Perfecto. Hoy sí la escucho bien. No. Ah, vaya. Dígame, Carla. Um, uh, I use an umbrella when it's raining. Ah, muy bien. I used an umbrella when it's raining. Muy bien. Hoy sí la escucho bien, Carla. <laughs> Hoy sí se lo escucha super primera bien. Exactly. I used I use I'm sorry, I use an umbrella when it's raining. Perdón, when it is raining sería, when it is raining. Muy bien. Okay? Eh, so eh, anyone else? ¿Alguien más? Yes. And the Salvador the Salvadorian people eat pupusa when uh, it's hungry. Salvadoran people eat pupusas, pupusas. when when it's hungry they are when they are they hungry uh -huh, when they are or they are hungry muy bien yeah, hungry. Mm -hmm. muy bien excelente right now if you see para ver la diferencia que hay entre las entre las eh, cómo se dice las dependientes y las independientes si usted se fija yo puedo decir a birthday is a day when we celebrate another year of life of a person. A birthday is a day. Se me oye un poco raro, ¿verdad? Pero si ya la separo, when we celebrate another year of life of a person. Está súper largo, ¿verdad? September 15 is a day when Salvadorians celebrate Independence Day. Christmas is a day when family celebrates together. I feel tired when I go to the gym. The weekend is a time when we go out. May 10th is the day when we celebrate Mother's Day and I use an umbrella when it is raining and Salvadoran people eat pupusas when they're hungry, right? Entonces, all these are examples using, you know, the same structure, right? I'm going to share them with you here. Okay, entonces, do you have questions, guys? Questions? Si usted se fija, es como dar una definición, ya vieron. Se parece a como dar como una definición del, del, del holiday, ¿ok? But questions? Preguntas? 
No, bye. No. Very good, so let's continue. It says, how much do you know about these days and months? Complete the sentences in column eight with information from column B, then compare with a partner, okay? I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read. Leala y ya la resolvemos. Para mientras la voy a contestar a uno de ustedes que me está escribiendo. Ready, guys? Listos? Yes? Very good. Let's begin. Yes. Okay, so New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is what? Letter B. Letter B. New Year's Eve is a night when people like to party. Vamos a ver. What about April's Fool? Vamos a, vamos a revisar si está correcto. The April's Fool. What do you think about April's Fool? April Fool's Day is a day when? The people play tricks on friends. Mm, okay, people play tricks on friends. Uh -huh. May Day is a day when? People in many countries honor workers. Uh, people in many Never countries eat. honor workers. Okay, vamos a ver. Valentine's Day is a day when? People give presents. Number F. To the ones they love. Mm -hmm. People, uy, creo que Carla Elena escribió ahí. Vamos a borrar eso. No, ya no me deja. Ay, voy a tener que borrarlos todos. <laughs> Vaya, voy a comenzar de nuevo, ok. Uh, veamos, ¿cuál fue el primero? New Year's Eve is a night when me dijeron ustedes people like to party. Luego me dijeron eh, April's Fool Day is a day when people a play people tricks play on three. friends. Ah, sí, verdad, yo había entendido mal, esa es cierto. Eh, May Day is a day when me dijeron ustedes eh, people in many countries are e, workers, e, ok. E. Valentine's Day is when, me dijeron creo que letter F, ¿verdad? Yeah, eh, the people give presents to ones they love. Very good. Eh, luego tenemos acá, July 14th is the day when? The French celebrate their revolution. The French celebrate their revolution and February is the month when? Brazilian celebrates carnival. Very good. Now let's go ahead and check if it is true, right? Now over here, right? Let's go ahead and look for this um, French Revolution. But a French Revolution. Mm. I 
I think that that line is correct, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, es el día de la Bastilla. Es que eso es lo que quería ver yo. Okay, el día de la Bastilla in, in France, right? So yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. So then the rest is okay. Así que very good. Now, you see, we have also each of these uh, sentences make a relative clause of time. I'm going to highlight the phrases here, right? New Year's Eve is a night when, ¿verdad? April's full day is a day when, May Day is a day when, Valentine's Day is a day when, uh, July 14th is a day when, and February is a month when, okay? Entonces, cuando nosotros usamos um, when, ¿verdad? Que es un relative pronoun, ¿verdad? The, the way we use it, it's going to make it to become, right, a relative close of time, okay? Así que déjeme borrar todo aquí, todos mis dibujitos, okay? And let me ask you, and in your case, guys, do you have um, questions about the platform? Preguntas de la plataforma tienen ustedes, chicos. Questions about the platform? Any exercise that you haven't been able to complete? No? No, teacher. It's, okay. um, it's uh, I mean, helping uh, exercise Carnaval Brazil. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't understand that, eh, Eliu. No entendí, perdón. No, perdón. Es que tengo problemas con los ejercicios que es con el Carnaval de Brasil, que está, sale la, la leyenda ah. en audio y yo les pongo lo que va respondiendo él y todo me lo marca en rojo. No sé qué es lo que mm. estoy haciendo mal. Ok, very good. And what number is it? What number, what exercise number is it? 3.6. 3.6. Ok, perfect. Let's go ahead and check it right now. Antes de pasarme para acá, entonces espérenme. 3.6. Uh, a ver. Give me one moment. Está pensando. 3.6. No, se va a tardar un buen rato. Así que let's do something, guys. Let's go ahead and complete these sentences with the information on your own. Then compare with the partner, okay? So let's go ahead and make up some examples. Antes de pasar a, ese del, del, de, a esa parte de la plataforma, con gusto, yo se los le reviso, okay? Now it says winter. Winter is a season. How would you complete this sentence, guys? Winter is a season. Mm -hmm. De aquí podemos sacar varias. ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Winter is a season. When is a change, a change station? Mm. Station climate, clim, uh, no, station environment? Uh, yeah, I mean, winter is a, is a season when we uh, change season, right? When we, uh -huh, when we change season, pero ya está ahí como el, el predeterminado eso, pero ¿qué sucede en el invierno? Winter is a season when, Xiomara? And winter is a season when it's cold and rain a lot. Ah, ok, it's cold and rains a lot, ok, muy bien. ¿Qué más, Flor Noemi? It can be winter is a season when the rainbow uh, leaves, salen, I don't ah, know. Ah, when rainbows appear, when rainbows appear. appear. Uh -huh. Okay, or are visible también, ¿verdad? So winter is a season when it is, perdón, aquí se me olvida esto, it is cold and rains a lot. And winter is a season when the rainbows appeared or are visible. Okay, um, then another sentence with winter is a season. Uh, Alguien más? When the people use the sweater. Ah, okay, when people wear, ¿verdad? When people wear sweaters, that's true. 
Ya tenemos bastante en usar muchos sweaters, ¿verdad? Pero sí, winter is a season when people wear sweaters. Muy bien. ¿Qué más podríamos decir de winter is a season? Francisco Antonio. Yes, teacher. For example, uh, winter is a season when you should use an umbrella. You should carry, quizás, andar llevando. You should carry uh, an umbrella. An umbrella, right. Mm -hmm. So winter is a season when you should carry an umbrella. Muy bien. Ok, Flor, no sé si era que se le había quedado levantado la manita o si me iba a decir a otra oración, perdón. No, teacher, ya bajé. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Uh, now, what about the next one? Spring is a time of the year, okay? Spring is a time of the year when? Volunteer? Mm -hmm. Teacher, it can be winter, no, sorry. Spring is the season when the leaves fall. Spring is a time of the year when the leaves fall. Pero ese sería fall. Aquí es spring. Sería como la primavera, ¿verdad? Mm. Aunque en nuestro caso solo tenemos prácticamente que invierno y verano, ¿verdad? Those are our two. Uh -huh. But spring is a, is the time of the year when... Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir when? The, when flowers uh, are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. When flowers, when ¿Cómo flowers florece? No sé cómo se dice. bloom. Mm. When flowers mm. bloom. Uh -huh. When flowers bloom. Cuando las flores aparecen o florecen, ¿verdad? The spring is a time of the year when flowers bloom. Muy bien. ¿Qué más, chicos? Another one. Spring is a time of the year when? What is spring? Spring well, sería como primavera. Primavera, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe Thank you. spring you is a time of the year when the days grow longer. When the days last. Longer. Duran más tiempo. Uh -huh. When days last longer. Last longer. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Yes, I think I have. Creo que he escuchado eso, uh -huh. Not pretty sure, but I have heard something about it. What about Mother's Day, Sky? Mother's Day is the day when Dígame, Damaris, y luego eh, Carla, y luego Hector, porque hay varias cosas que podemos decir, ¿verdad? Mother's Day is the day when, Damaris? When you, no, when you buy chocolates to your mom. Okay, when you, when people, but that when people when buy people. chocolates, okay, chocolates for their moms, ¿verdad? Okay, Carla, Alicia. Mother's Day is the day when the mothers receive many presents and share with the, their family. When mothers receive many presents, or when mother, mothers receive presents, right, and share, oops, and share with their families. Okay, families. Okay, very good. Hector? Mother's Day is the day when the child give the present at the mom. Okay, when children, when children, children give presents to their moms. Okay, muy bien. When children give presents to their moms. And Flor Noemi? Mother's Day is is the day when we can invite our mothers to a beautiful restaurant. Mm -hmm. we, we can take, but we can take our mothers to a beautiful restaurant. Okay. Restaurant. Okay. Mother says the day when we can take our mothers to a beautiful restaurant. Very good. Eh, dígame, Francisco. 
uh, can be teacher uh, Mother Days is day when um, the most special person on earth is celebrated. Uh -huh, when the most special person, person is celebrated. Okay, okay. Uh, Gisela. Uh, Mother's Day is the day when a lot of people leave flowers to the cemetery. Ah, uh, Mother's Day is the day when lots of people, oops, lots of people, oops, es cierto, people uh, leave, leave flowers in the cemetery. Okay, that's true, sí es cierto. Eh, aquí veo algo en el chat. Spring is a time. Ay, perdón, Claudia Lizeta. Hasta ahorita voy viendo sus mensajes. Disculpe. Dice, Spring is a time of the year, of the year that is enjoyed. Mm, no. Spring is a time of the year when. Aquí no usamos that porque estamos usando eh, relative clauses of time. Entonces usamos when. ¿Verdad? Ya le, ya le, ya le doy la corrección. Permítame. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahorita se las pongo acá. Y decimos, eh, spring, ay, me falta un pedacito. Spring is a, a time of the year when, ¿verdad? No that, porque that es otro tipo de cláusulas, ¿verdad? When eh, the family, when the family enjoy, enjoys, um, their free time, no sé, su tiempo libre. Spring is the time of the year when the family enjoys their free time or when family, on, ah, también podemos poner algo así, when family enjoys uh, to visit, right? Enjoys to visit the park, por ejemplo, un parque, porque se pone bien bonito, ¿verdad? Luego me dijo usted, Mother Day is the day when you can pamper your mom. You can pamper your mom, como consentirla, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y hasta ahí. O puede decir, Mother Day is the day when you enjoy with your mom, ¿verdad? Ya la podemos dividir en dos, ¿ok? Así Perfect. que esas serían las correcciones ajá, que yo le haría. Thank you. Bye. Ahora acá mi oración, la mía, la mía. Eh, acá, Mother Day is the day when. Okay, Mother Day is the day when there's a lot of traffic and the restaurants are full. Okay, restaurants are full. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> That is the very first thing that comes to my mind for Mother's Day. Siempre digo, Mother's Day, it's going to be a headache because there will be a lot of traffic. If you want to buy a cake, it's full. There's a long line waiting. If you want to go to a restaurant, they're full. There's no space, right? So that's why we we, we should celebrate at home, right? En la casa se celebra mejor porque no hay, no hay, tanta, no hay tanto barullo, como dicen. What about this one? A birthday is a day. A birthday is a day, uh -huh. when, eh, Ivan, y luego Flor. Uh, a birthday is a day when we celebrate with our sons and relatives, uh, a ah. big dinner, a big dinner, a rich dinner. Okay, a birthday is a day when we celebrate with our family, with a Delicious, right? Delicious, delicious dinner. Okay, very good. Thank you. Flor Noemi, a birthday is a day when? A birthday is a day when we eat a, a special cake. It's true when we eat a special, a special cake. Okay, for us. Okay, a birthday is a day when we eat special cake. A special cake made for us. ¿Verdad? Hecho para nosotros. Made for us. Okay. Next, Damaris. A birthday is a day when you enjoy with your friends and family. When you enjoy, muy bien, when you enjoy with your friends 
Hey, friends and family. Muy bien. Excelente. Eh, Hector. Birthday is a day when we can drink. Ah, what can you drink? <laughs> water. <laughs> water or soda. <laughs> when you, a birthday is a day when you can drink with your friends, ¿verdad? Fíjese yeah. que yo ese de drink no, 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 o sea, no siento que sea apropiado, sino que creo más bien que es hangout. Hangout es como salir a fregar, dice uno, ¿verdad? Voy a salir a, a pasear con mis amigos o amigas, ¿verdad? Hangout. So a birthday is a day when we can hang out with friends and family. Quizás así. Ahí incluyale todo lo que quiera, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí en ese va incluido. Drinking, etc. Eating. Entonces, eh, next one, eh, Carla. When a person is one year old. <laughs> when a person becomes, ¿verdad? Se convierte, becomes a year older. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. That's true. Sad. Okay. That's that's the saddest part, right? I love the cake. I love the music. I love the company, etc. But the saddest part is that you become a year older. Eh, luego tengo aquí a, uh, no sé si es Damaris o Gisela, perdón. ¿Quién sigue? Damaris ya había participado o me va a decir otra oración, perdón. Eh, ya pasé. Pero ah, bye. Puedo decir otro. Vaya, pues dale. A birthday is a day when, when your boyfriend buy a, buy a cake for you. Ah, ok. When your boyfriend buys a cake and a present, dígale, and a present for you, ok. Para que se complete ahí, ¿verdad? Buys a cake and a present for you. Muy bien. Eh, Gisela, please. Uh, a birthday is a day when my family and friends give me presents or give give me presents uh -huh. a birthday is a day when my family and friends give me presents okay next maria dolores birthday is a day when we thank a life mm -hmm. we thank for oh no see we we um Give thanks, sería, when we give thanks for another year, another year in our lives, our lives. Muy bien, okay. Eh, Julio Cesar. Uh, a, birthday, a birthday is a day when children break piñatas yeah. and eat many... Eh, candies. Yes, it's true. Break piñatas. No tengo la letra ñ, perdón. And eat sweets or candies, right? Many candies. Uh -huh. That's true. I remember. I remember sí. when I would go to a party, right? That was my favorite part. Pero let me tell you this. Mi parte favorita no era pegar en la piñata. Mi parte favorita era esperar a que el niño rompiera la piñata. And then I would go and run and, you know, uh, grab as many candies as I could, right? And that's true. A birthday is a day when children break piñatas and eat many candies. Okay? And Hector. Uh, ber a birthday is a day when we play a mañanita song. Ah, okay. When we play las... Ma no, siento, chicos. No tengo la, tengo la letra en el las mañanitas. Mañani, mañanitas. Ajá. Son. That's true. Early in the morning. Si no, no cuenta. Vea. Early in the morning. When I was a child, my father used to play the song. So I could wake up, right? Uh, with the sound of the mañanitas, right? In the morning. Okay. Very good, guys. Excellent. Y el último. A wedding anniversary is a time. A wedding anniversary it's a time, wait, wait a minute, it's a time when, me ganó. <laughs> a wedding anniversary is a time when? Uh, a wedding anniversary is a time when uh, we remember the day of we got married. It's it's true, give me one second, guys. I have a, a partner over here. Tengo una compañera aquí en la ventana. Una lagartija just right now. I will share. I will share. I will share the picture with you later. I will share the picture with you later. Okay, it's a it's a lizard. Okay, so what in anniversary? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it's a gecko or a lizard. I cannot 
distinguish between the two of them. But... De invierno. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I went in university at the time when we remember. I'm sorry, Simara, when we remember the time. When we remember the day when we got married. Uh -huh, the day we got married, right? Or we get, but we get married, porque es en general. So, I went in university at the time when we remember the day we get married. Muy bien. Eh, Flor Noemi. No se le escucha, Flor. Es que tiene la manita levantada. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear that. Well, the wedding, the wedding anniversary is a time when couples celebrate another year together. When couples celebrate. Muy bien. Celebrate another year together. Muy bien. Wow, chicos, hoy sí, miren, han hecho un montón de oraciones, excelente. Francisco, dígame. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, wedding anniversary is a time when we celebrate um, momentous dates in our life. Sí, espérenme, creo que yo me equivoqué. Hey, ya, ya le quité la inspiración a Francisco, permítame, es que me equivoqué. <laughs> me hace falta a time when, uh -huh. when, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. When we celebrate mm -hmm. a momentous date in our life. A momentous day. What do you mean by that? Eh, una fecha trascendental. Ah, ok. Uh, yo diría, we celebrate an important... Es que momentum, momentum me dijo, ¿verdad? Momentous. Ah, momentous. Right. Momentous. Mm. Mm -hmm. A momentous day. Sí, aquí está. Fíjense que no, no había escuchado nunca esa frase. A momentous occasion. Ah, ok. A momentous. Esta es nueva para mí. Momentous. Yo le escuché eh, otra cosa porque el otro es eh, momentum. Es eh, impulso en inglés. Momentum. Impulso. Ajá. Momentous eh, day. Me dijo, ¿verdad? In our life. In our lives. Okay. In our lives. Pidas, ¿verdad? Yo estoy haciendo así como en forma general. Excelente. Right. Excellent, guys. Good job. Okay. Le voy a compartir todo eso que ustedes hicieron. Eh, quizás ahí en el, en el chat se lo vamos a compartir. Permítame. Ya voy. Veo que ha caído un mensaje. Permítame. Solo le voy a guardar esto. Eh, intermedio. Class notes. Today is class six, session six. Okay. Ya se lo voy a compartir. Ahí queda. Dice acá, a wedding anniversary is a moment when we remember. It's a moment. Fíjense, Claudia Lisset, que esta está perfecta, pero para una cláusula diferente. Si yo diría, a wedding anniversary is a moment that we remember. That we remember for a lifetime. Okay. Como que es inolvidable. ¿Verdad? También podemos decir, si ya lo transformamos a esta misma eh, estructura, a wedding anniversary, ¿verdad? Is a date eh, when we... No, no quedaría bien de otra forma. Solo con that. A wedding anniversary is a moment that we remember for a lifetime. O sea, en este caso no incluimos, no es una cláusula de tiempo porque no lleva when. ¿Verdad? Pero está, está bien. Solo le agregaría that. We remember o we remember. ¿Verdad? Cualquiera de las dos. Ya sea sin that o con we. Esta that, chicos, es diferente. Ya la, ver, ya la van a ver más adelante porque esta incluso usted la puede omitir en ciertas ocasiones. Por ejemplo, aquí la puedo omitir y va a significar lo mismo. A wedding anniversary is a moment we remember for a lifetime or a wedding anniversary is a moment that we remember for a lifetime. Entonces, no cambia el el significado. Es bien interesante, la verdad, es bien interesante. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now, let's go ahead and see here. Ahora sí, I have here the exercise. I think it's, you said, guys, me dijeron section four, ¿verdad? No, section 3.6, correct? Yes, teacher. Bye, perfect. Give me one moment. Vamos a ocupar estos minutos que nos restan para este ejercicio. 3.6.
Okay. So it says carnival time. Uh, let's go ahead and listen. I'm going to make sure I'm sharing the sound. Voy a compartir sonido. Let's go ahead and listen and we're going to answer it, okay? Ah, pero es que hay que pasarlo para acá. Page 52. Exercise 5. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival. Okay, let's see if we can answer it together. We're going to go section by section, okay? So the first question that we have is, what is a carnival, right? What is a carnival? So in this case, we have to give a definition, okay? What will be the definition, guys? Listen to what he says. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. Okay, so what is a carnival? Rio, maybe. Mm, <clears throat> listen to the definition he gives. El da la definición. I'm going to play Carnival, with it's a party. Muy bien, ahí está. Carnival? It's, it's a party. It is a party. Así it lo van a escribir. Party. Mm -hmm. Carnival is a party or carnival is, is a party, ¿verdad? En este caso puede decir it is a party. Ya les voy a compartir yo las diferentes opciones que tienen para contestar. Or carnival is a party. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Ex excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell the, me. The, uh, I, I just answered carnival, it is a party, and it's still wrong. Ay, que lleva mayúscula aquí, perdón. Ahí. Puede... Se lo voy a compartir aquí en el chat para que vea cuáles son las que puede usar. Puede usar it is a party, o puede usar party, o party con mayúscula, o carnival is a party. Así como están ahí. Ok. Y si no, agreguele el puntito porque veo que tiene un punto ahí también. ¿Verdad? How long does it last? ¿Cuánto dura? ¿Cuánto dura? Let's listen. Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. So, how long does it last? ¿Cuánto dura? How long does it last? It lasts for four whole days. Correct. It lasts, or lasts, right? For four whole days. Days. Lo que sé es transcribir lo que le está diciendo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. it, it lasts for four whole days. Muy bien. Now, then, when is it? Pregunta. Vamos a escuchar. It's held in late February or early March. So, when is it held? Or when is, is, when is it? I'm sorry. It's in it late, is on late February. February or 
or early in March. Muy bien, right. it's it's on. Oops, it's on early. No, perdón, on late February. February, pero aquí mayúscula, verdad? Porque es mes. It's on late February or early mayúscula March. March. Muy bien, puntito ahí. De acuerdo. And let's listen to the last question. But you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. Ay, se queda quieto. Yo mucho tiempo le di clic, quizás. Es que cuando uno le da varios clics, ya después ya no, no, le, no le pone el audio. Page 52, exercise five. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, so what is the samba? The samba is a dance. Muy bien. The samba is a dance. Muy bien. The samba is a dance. Un puntito acá por cualquier cosa. Ok. Vamos a ver. Le vamos a dar a enviar. Y vamos a ver si me las toma, ¿verdad? Porque I'm not pretty sure. No estoy segura. Ah, sí es cierto. Tampoco me toma a mí. It is a party. Ay, pero es que mi... Ay, yo me equivoqué. Lo siento. Aquí me faltó a party. Ok. It is a party. Ahora sí. Perdón, ya lo confundí, Julio César. Ok, aquí está, ¿ve? What is carnival? It is a party. How, do, how long does it last? It lasts for four whole days, right? When is it? It is, I mean, it's on late February or early March. What is the samba? The samba is a dance, ¿verdad? Ahí pues completamos, ¿verdad? Cabal el ejercicio. Si de repente cuando llegue usted ahí o no la ha completado aún, puede ver esta clase, a la, váyase a la parte final del video para que puedan eh, contestarlo, ¿verdad? Any other question, guys, related to the platform? Do you have questions about this exercise? Is it clear? Oh, teacher, yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I answered them like, like, you, like you did, uh, like... But it's still wrong. Which one? Uh, all of them. Mm, no puede ser. Vaya, si gusta, mándeme una captura de pantalla aquí al, 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 a, a mi WhatsApp, pero al personal. O sea, usted me busca a mí un mensaje que yo haya mandado y le da clic en mensajear. Y me lo tira a mí directamente, no en el chat. De acuerdo. Mándemelo y ahorita revisamos. Yo le digo qué es entonces lo que está mal. Yo lo que acabo de hacer, teacher, es poner el punto final a todas. Ajá. No creo que las tenía igual y, y, y solo me, me, me sigue tirando el error en la segunda. Correcto. Ajá. Es que todas llevan puntito. Uh -huh. El Aquí... punto es el que está fallando, teacher. Sí, it lasts que poner for... el punto. Sí, cabal, for four whole days y ahí el puntito. It lasts, porque aquí lasts, ¿verdad? Dura. It lasts perdón, for... perdón, es... Es la 3, la 3 es la que me tira incorrecta. It's, It's on late February. Ajá, pero me lo puede escribir como usted lo dijo aquí en el chat o, o para yo ver qué, qué es lo, le, cuál es el error. Pero, permítame en este uh -huh. momento. Bye. Eh, solo el punto me faltaba al final, ya se lo puse. Ah, como vaya. Chica, y con Perfecto. eso ya me lo aceptó. Sí, el punto, Francisco, ya el ve, punto con ya eso. Ya ve, yo Only sabía. <risa> Está bien. ¿Alguien es que, más? Es que hay ocasiones en donde eh, en la explicación tienden a aclarar eso, que no olvidar poner el punto y final, pero en esta ocasión no lo hacían, por eso que sí. a lo mejor... <risa> Ajá, y en, en Yes, it's true. Algunas veces, como se dice, aquí lo incluyen, ¿verdad? Pero en ese, pues, no lo incluyeron. Así que, pero estamos bien ahí, hoy sí. 
Yes, teacher. La... Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Tres, Bye. teacher, ¿cuál es la última palabra? En la tres. <laughs> Or early March, punto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya, chicos, voy a pasar asistencia porque ya pues se me fue la hora. Así que let's go ahead and read just the names that didn't, uh, las personas que no contestaron al principio. Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada. Present. Ah, Present. Ok, excelente, Ada. Eh, Damari Saraí García Cerón. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. No, no vino. Bye. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gabriel José Hernández López. No vino. Eh, Hector Iván Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla, Alicia, ¿no vino? Oh, sí vino. Ah, ya casi le ponía que no había venido. Okay. Let's see, Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Gracias. Y por último, Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Vaya, ok. Chicos, good job. You did a great job today, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Don't forget to complete the rest of the exercises in section three and the midterm exam. And if you have questions, don't forget to write down the exercise and we're going to resolve it here tomorrow, okay? So thank you for joining and have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, everyone.